dudes and dudettes. How are you guys? This is Chazzy and welcome back to What's Today I'm Mitch the Good old WTD question mark here on my channel. The segment on this channel where I can unleash all of my inner rage and sadness and anger and sorrow, all of the negative emotions that come with being a human being who apparently has very good mental health, you know, as you will discover while watching today's vlog, you know, I am the picture of psychological health and joy and happiness and overwhelming good vibes, you know, because, well, today I'm going to be talking about a very testy topic for some people, you know, and the title is not meant to be clickbait. I'm literally going to be covering nightmares, you know, or why I can't have them, why I don't have them. I actually still have not decided on on the title for this video, but it's going to be something related to nightmares, you know. I apologize ahead of time if the lighting is a little weird today, you know, it's because there's the all of the sunlight in the sky is concentrated on this side of the my house you know so you guys might notice that it's a bit brighter on this side than this side i'm also wearing a red shirt which somehow contributes i don't know why or how the red just makes the camera capture something that's weird maybe like otherworldly or something and this is what happens when I do concept vlogs. You know, in case you're unfamiliar, if you're new to the channel, a concept vlog is a term that I coined here on my channel, which is when I just come here and talk to you guys, you know, with very little, if any, editing, you know, and usually there's no script. You know, I go off script. I literally just pick a topic and let my brain do the talk. You know, that's what's going on here. So basically, here's the thing, guys. Do you have nightmares? Are you the kind of person who regularly has bad dreams? Huh? Are they recurring? Are they a one-time thing? Are they frequent? Are they rare? You know, how exactly do you have bad dreams? You know, I want you to let me know in the comments below. You can even pause the video right now and type a, type in a comment, you know, answering one of my questions because I'm really curious. Do you know why? Because I don't have nightmares. <laughs> I'm starting to feel like I'm missing out on something here because I, when I was younger, I had a lot of bad dreams, you know, because when you're a kid, you're pretty much afraid of everything, you know, like for example, the birds chirping loudly in the background while I'm trying to record. Guys, look, just, you know, the, 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 I love birds. I can't be mad at them. They're so pretty. They're green little parrots that fly around and stuff. Oh, there's such a cute little one on top of the little wire there. He's going to get electrocuted though. And just, Okay, I'm getting distracted here. This is why I need scripts. But anyway, so when I was a kid, I was a fraidy cat and I was a little scaredy cat. I, I had a fear of pretty much everything. So it was very normal to have bad dreams, some of which were recurring, you know, but slowly as I got older, it's almost like I grew out of nightmares, almost like nightmares in my perception were only for kids, you know, something that happened a lot in my youth. But for some reason, when I became a young adult, my bad dreams started to become rarer and rarer and rarer to the point where right now, I mean, I can't even remember the last time that I had a bad dream. I know what it was. I just can't remember when. I think it was probably in like 2019 or 2020, you know. The last nightmare that I had, I kid you not, was a, a few years ago at this point. And it was because I played The Evil Within, which is a horror game, you know. And I beat it on Xbox One. But like, it's... It's weird because I had a bad one of the characters one of the the antagonists, you know Was giving me a little bit of grief I think I took like a week to beat her, you know to defeat her because I kept putting it off out of fear You know because it was a very hard boss fight But I was also a little scared of her, you know She made my anxiety flare up and I almost had a panic attack So, you know, maybe it was because of that, you know, and I think that at one point I actually I think it was before I beat her in the video game. I had a bad dream where she was chasing me, you know, and I was just screaming for my life, you know, but there was no way to escape. It's one of those kinds of dreams where you can't flee from the threat. It's pretty much, you know, uh, coming after you constantly. That was the last bad dream that I had, and it was about a video game character, man. I mean, that's what triggered it. But other than that, nothing else, before or after, that I can remember at least. And it's funny because it was exactly that nightmare that I think sort of helped me get over the fear of her, you know? Because if you've played Evil Within, the character that I'm talking about is Laura, you know, who's one of the antagonists, you know, aside from uh, Ruben, no, Ruben, Ru Rubik? Rubik, the, the other villain in the game, I don't know, that, it's, it's all a blur to me now, but 
there you actually encounter her twice in the game and my nightmare happened after the first time you know and then after I had it when I went to face her the second time I wasn't as scared you know so maybe the dream was kind of like maybe the nightmare was in a way cathartic for me in a certain manner you know because I was able to overcome it and sometimes that's what nightmares are for right sometimes they represent an anxiety that you're having in real life whether it's in your personal life in the work environment you know uh, I don't know maybe you're struggling to get through school or college and you have those dreams where you know like every nightmare has some kind of rational explanation you know you don't just have nightmares for the sake of it I think you know unless of course you have psychological issues and in that case you should probably see a psychiatrist but but beside the point the way that I interpret nightmares is that the more often you have them the more stressful your life probably is or the more problems you have that are unresolved you know the issues that you just can't seem to wrap your head around and with me even though I do suffer from you know like a lot of anxiety in my own thoughts like sometimes I tend to over worry about certain things and think too much about things that don't need to be thought too much about you know so that makes me anxious and sometimes I can't sleep at night I do I am a bit of an insomniatic but at the same time when I do fall asleep it's all chill it's only good vibes. I, I don't have bad nightmares. I don't have bad dreams. No matter how stressful I am, no matter how mad or angry or sad I am when I go to bed, you know, I usually, I either have a very normal dream or, you know, just a regular everyday routine one or a very good one, you know? It's, it's crazy. I actually look forward to dreaming sometimes, you know, because the vast majority of my dreams are very normal and bland, you know? Nothing really special happens, you know? But still, it's good to have a little bit of normality in your mind. And I think, in accordance with psycho psychological studies of the human brain, it means that I'm actually pretty healthy mentally, you know, because if I started to have a lot of nightmares, you know, especially recurring ones, I think that might be the need to see a psychologist or try to take controlled medication for better sleep, you know, but I don't know. I, this is just me, by the way. This is what I am presuming, you know, I think I have a very healthy mind and a healthy and active brain because I don't have too many bad dreams. I don't know if that's actually how it works, but that's how I interpret it, you know, like I can be like, no matter what happens throughout the day, when I lay in bed, man, when, when slumber comes, I sleep like a rock. You know, I'm a very heavy sleeper. It's really hard for me to wake up, you know? Even when my bladder wants to go pee, you know, like uh, sometimes I wake up in the morning with my bladder like about to explode because I have to get up instantly and go to the bathroom, you know? But it's really rare for me to wake up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom, for example. I don't know, it's, I don't know. This is taking on a whole different direction here. I was talking about nightmares, but I don't know, like, I, I, there are friends of mine who come to me and say that they keep having these same recurring nightmares, you know, about a killer chasing them, trying to hurt them, you know, or maybe they're falling somewhere and they never stop falling or they're drowning in a pool or in the ocean or they're buried alive, you know. My friends have some pretty crazy nightmares, dude. And, you know, sometimes they have regular lives, not too stressful. Sometimes it's the opposite. So I don't really know what the mediator is, but somehow, at least for the time being, I seem to be immune to it. You know, I seem to be immune to nightmares, unless of course I just jinxed it and I'll probably have a really bad one tonight. But <laughs> just in case you guys missed it, I'm going to leave a link to it up here. This video that I did recently, which is titled Reborn Through Pain, which is another concept vlog where I talked about this emotional turmoil that I've been going through in my personal life lately. And it's been kind of almost driving me nuts. You know, I've been spiraling ever so steadily into madness over the last few weeks. Of course, I'm exaggerating. It's not like it's bad, but I'm not losing my mind or anything. But I still feel like it has been affecting me a lot worse than it should. You know, it, it's been getting to me a lot worse than I should be allowing it to be, you know, and I talk all about it in that video here and somehow through some kind of miracle or something, you know, I haven't had any dreams about this, you know, I haven't had any nightmares, you know, involving the person who, you know, had hurt me and like, it, it's really weird how it works because you would think, right, that the more pain you feel emotionally, you know, the more psychological damage that you suffer in a given moment, the more susceptible you would be to have more nightmares. And it just doesn't happen with me. I don't know why or how, you know? Sometimes the more stressed I am, the better dreams that I have, you know? It's freaking crazy, you know? There was this one, um, 
There was this one time, I think a few months ago, I still remember it, where I had a very stressful day, you know, at work, at home, a lot of stuff happening. But that night I had one of the best dreams, you know, that I can remember, which was when I met a celebrity that I really, really admire. And it's really, I don't really know how to explain it exactly, you know, it just doesn't make a lot of sense. And by the way, it was Tom Hanks, you know, I don't know, I should have specified you know you know one of my favorite actors ever and i just met him and it was just so cool you know and it was like well ain't that something you know just a regular ordinary guy you know and yeah freaking crazy but still i don't know man I, it's just a topic that i wanted to bring here and talk about you know with you guys it's not because i'm out of ideas i, I legitimately wanted to bring this up here because i've never covered it you know i seem to not be able to have nightmares and i don't know maybe it's uh Maybe it's God having mercy on me. He knows how much I, I suffer or I've been suffering, you know, the issues that I've been having. Maybe he's like, okay, I'm going to at least let you rest easy, you know, in your slumber, let you sleep, okay? For all, the, for all of those of you out there who have recurring nightmares, I do feel sorry for you and I hope you can get over them. There's always a, an explanation. Maybe it represents something that you, you know, have to overcome in real life and it's not going to stop, you know, you're not going to stop seeing them in your nightmares until you do that, you know, until you get through it this is becoming too philosophical i don't know i'm i'm very low energy today i'm hungry you know i didn't get any sleep last night no dreams unfortunately that i can remember but i'm kind of running on fumes here but i gotta get this video done here for you guys you know maybe you you've seen throughout the video how tired i am i need a freaking nap so badly oh my god <laughs> but anyway guys uh let me know in the comments below what you think you know what your take is on this topic if you happen to have had nightmares lately you no know, share them with me we can have a little debate maybe i can try to give you some advice you know and yes let me know how you feel in this spectrum and uh um keep your eyes tuned you know uh stay tuned for the community tab because i'll probably run a little poll here regarding what i said in the video to see where you guys are in that spectrum there that's going to be fun to do too and that's it dudes that is it for now. Um, yeah, this is chat. No, sorry. If you happen to like this video, please go ahead and give it a like and also subscribe to my channel because I release videos every single day. And while you're at it, while you're at it, hit the notification bell too so you can know exactly what time I upload. I gotta talk slower in these videos, especially towards the end. I keep rushing too much. Gotta drag a little bit instead of rush. So this is Chazzy signing out for now with the god dang truck in the background and as always i will see you guys in the next video roll the outro screen